Hey Lynn, good evening. This is Ryan from TrendLizard.com. I took a look at a stock for you last week. Uh, you sent me a couple more to look at tonight. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to take a look at Billy Billy, B-I-L-I, as well as Taiwan Semiconductor TSM. I think that one I have looked at before. I've never looked at Billy before. Let's go ahead and do so now. It was incepted back in 2018. Uh, at the start, had a lot of back and forth movement. Once it hit this yellow area here, from then things obviously changed and became much more directional to the upside off of that October 2019 low. Gave us a very clear, beautiful five wave move to the upside that ended in 2021. Since then, it has given back a very large portion of that gain. In fact, it's retraced about 61.8% of that uh, five wave advance uh, with a very clear ABC move. Now, this is a pretty enticing setup from here. Now, if this five wave move completed, as it did uh, based on the large counter trend pullback in 2021, plus the 61.8% retracement of this up leg, could be the setup for a completed pullback and the start of a new trendy five wave move. And that's why I'm guessing you sent it to me. So uh, let's go ahead and zoom in, take a look at this action off the 2021 low. So here we have it. This is that move. It looks like, again, a very clear ABC move to the downside so far. Now the move has taken a three wave move, uh, a three wave form to this point. The question becomes, is that the end of it? Does this mark a low? It has found major support at August low, 61.8% uh, retracement again of that large five wave advance. Possible that this marks a very important low. Now we don't have proof of that yet. If we have trendy upside action or continued strength, then we have a pretty strong case that this could be the end of this large three wave move. And if that's the case, could be at the very start of a much larger advance. So the only question we have left to ask is, is this the start of a new trendy five wave move? Let's go ahead and zoom in on this price action off of August low. This is it so far. Uh, it has trendy potential. It's hard to say with any absolute certainty that it is a trendy move, but it certainly has that potential. I think what we have to do from this point is just watch and see how it performs from here. Now, if a low is in, we would expect BILI to stay above 6850 at all times. If it stays above that level, gives us a nice counter trend pullback and continues to move higher. I think this looks like an incredible buying opportunity, something that is definitely worth uh, the risk that's associated with uh, the potential that a low is not in uh, based on putting a stop at 6850 and riding out to the upside from there. So again, looks very enticing. Nice five wave move, nice three wave pullback that found support almost perfectly where it should and it's turning higher. Now we just need proof. We need to see that this is trendy upside action, see that it doesn't retrace that trendy upside action uh, by more than 61.8% at any point in time. As long as it does, I think Billy will be a good buying opportunity with a ton of upward potential as another large five wave advance takes shape. Not sure that it'll be this big, but the expectation can be that it will retrace this entire three-way pullback and continue higher from there. So looks like a very interesting opportunity. I'd be interested in it as long as it's trading above 68.50. There's that guy. Let's go ahead and take a look at TSM Taiwan Semiconductor. Again, I've looked at this before. Not sure if it was for you or somebody else. Uh, we'll start from the beginning once again. Uh, it was incepted in 1997, had some up and down, gave us a very clear ABC pullback into the 2002 low. Off of that low, it has embarked on a very large, incomplete, trendy five-wave move, gave us a first wave up, looks like a leading diagonal, and looks like 2002 to 2007, a three-wave pullback for wave two, and since then, off of that low in 2008, it's been in a large third wave advance that is not yet complete to the upside. You can see the first wave, second wave, a very large third wave, fourth wave pullback, and then is in the fifth wave of that third wave advance. It appears to be in the fourth wave uh, aspect of that fifth wave advance, so still room to grow before a larger high is found and we get that larger third wave pullback, or excuse me, larger fourth wave pullback, something to offset this second wave pullback that happened here. So let's go ahead and zoom in and look at more proximate action here. Uh, this looks at that advance off the 2019 low. So if we zoom in, it's just this fifth wave advance to the upside within that third wave. Uh, you can see the nice fir first wave, a nice five wave move, very clear three wave pullback for wave two, a nice five wave move for wave three off of the 2021 high. It's been in a larger counter trend correction. It's moved sideways for a large portion of that. 
set a new low in August and is now showing some strength to the upside. So the question is, is this fourth wave correction complete? If we go ahead and zoom in just at this 2021 price action, doesn't seem like it is quite yet. Looks like we've had an A wave down. It appears that we're in a B wave correction here uh, that could still move back up towards the high for this recovery before we get a C wave down. We could still see a move into this yellow support area here before it's complete. Once we get some indication that this fourth wave correction has ended, it will look like a good buying opportunity. We would expect a fifth wave advance to emerge that takes us to new highs and beyond. Uh, if we step back out here to complete this five wave move to the upside. Uh, it is possible with what's gone on in the market. A lot of pullbacks have not really completed in any sensible way uh, that we're getting something funky like this in ABC X ABC also known as a double correction or a complex correction that could have ended already. I don't think that's the case, but it's worth keeping an eye on uh, if a low did occur. TSM will stay above 111.75 at, at all times. A move below that level at any point would confirm that this fourth wave correction is not yet over. So TSM does look bullish. Uh, I do uh, need to, or we need to be more, or at least aware of the possibility of a larger fourth wave pullback. A move below 111.75 at any point says we're getting a larger fourth wave correction before price turns up and gives us that fifth wave advance. To new highs. So I hope that's helpful, Lynn. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Uh, anybody who doesn't know, come visit trendlizard.com. We do this stuff every day. We'll show you how to use Elliott Wave Theory, uh, the most powerful forecasting method out there uh, in real time. So take care, y'all. See you next time. Bye.